Did you miss it? Here's another quick clip from the Gotta Be Country radio show that aired on SharkRadioNetwork.com. All right, welcome back to Gotta Be Country Radio. I am joined today with Bree Kelsey, who participated in the Bikini Bull Bash uh, the other weekend. Welcome to the show, Bree. Thank you. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your background. Have you always been interested in rodeos and bull riding, or, or where did this kind of come from? Well, I've always been interested in the rodeo. I mean, I just started like a few years ago. I mean, I've had horses for a while, but, you know, just other stuff happened. So it's always been interested in mine, but I really started hitting cars this year know just doing some barrel races and little stuff i actually heard about the bikini bull bash from another friend of mine that had done it the first time they did it so that's how i found out about it oh awesome awesome so yeah evidently this is the second annual um bikini bull bash um they had had one the year before it was out at um kurt check's um uh rodeo arena am i correct on that yep the cowboy arena it's in seneca it's like probably like 40 miles fast across okay all right and so now with this then um the uh explain a little bit on how the bikini bull riding works for for the listeners out there that probably i'm guessing that this doesn't happen too often i know that um there was quite a few people when i was mentioning that i was going to this that were like wait what you need video yeah yeah and i had never heard of anything like this again. I mean, I'm sure, you know, a lot of girls are like, oh, you know, I want to ride a bull, I want to ride a bull. So it's good that they, you know, that we have this opportunity. Like I said, it was the second annual one, and then they plan on doing another one actually this March. Oh, So I'm I'm guessing it's going to be like a yearly thing. But what we did is just like any rodeo, you know, you had to call in and, you know, pay your entry fees, and then um, it was limited to 15 girls oh, okay. and I think 11 actually actually wrote actually showed <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah so we called in and then like they set up a practice so some of us went down there you know and Kurt the owner taught us you know just how to sit on the bull you know how to hold your rope like where your legs are supposed to be and then we actually sat on a bull uh-huh. doing it ride it but then and then we played around with the booking barrel so that was helpful oh definitely that that's good that they're concerned about safety first they didn't just take you out and throw you right onto the bowl yeah yeah no they didn't i mean and they were they were super good with everything they they were really helpful like kurt was with every girl before they rolled help them get up on the rope and everything so he was he was really helpful and the other guys help too that was nice that's i mean good. the other bull riders helped so well that's good. That is good is there anything that you learned in in that time frame of, of trying to learn how to bull ride is there anything that you wouldn't have thought that you actually needed to know um it's hard i mean <laughs> i have <laughs> i mean it really is hard i mean i have a lot of you know it kind of opened my eyes up to to the bull riders that actually ride you know for a living mm-hmm. not anyone can just do it it's very hard oh yeah well and you ride horse too so you've already got kind of the leg strength in that yeah yeah <laughs> and it's it's a lot on your legs i mean i was sore almost instantly so i can only imagine <laughs> you know riding all the time sure so now when they had you get down into the shoots and take your wrap did you do a bubble wrap or did you do a regular wrap we did a butterfly okay. all the girls did a butterfly none of us did an actual a full wrap okay because the previous year i think someone got hung up Ooh. and you know it yeah so for safety issues we just did a butterfly well that's good that's good no did i understand right that there there was a calcutta ahead of time yeah there was so this year the previous year the bull riders the the boys got to take their girls so sure. this year it was opposite so the girls got to take their partner oh i then, see yeah and then we had to go out in the middle of the arena it's super embarrassing <laughs> and we got off and off. yeah yeah that does make it a little bit you, you hope that there's quite a bit of crowd out there now uh, there was a ton of people there from the way i understand yeah it was full i mean you could hardly move 
there's a ton of people there. That's awesome, especially for, you know, an event that that's going to be annual. I know that there was a, a huge thing on Facebook, and I know there was over 200 people that said that they were at least going. I'm guessing that there was a lot more than that, though. Yeah, there was a lot. I mean, the, the stands were full. I mean, you couldn't, literally, you couldn't walk. Like, there was maybe a little pathway. So I'm guessing there was that many people, if not more. Wow, that's awesome. So when you yeah. got down on the bowl and stuff, what, what were your thoughts? You know, beforehand, I was nervous. I mean, I wasn't, you know, freaking out, but yeah. it was nerve-wracking. But honestly, I wasn't really thinking a whole lot. I mean, just like, I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a plus, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, but um, it was, I kind of went, I think I was second to last, so I had seen all the other girls ride, uh -huh. so that that was helpful, so I wasn't first out of the shoot, so yeah. I think that helped a lot, but really I wasn't, I don't know, and I told someone before, I'm like, you can tell me all you want, but when I get in there, I know I'm going to forget everything that was happening, your mind just kind of goes blank. Yep, yep. I know a lot of times with the announcers and stuff, they say, okay, now they can hear you. Now give them a cheer. Yeah. And it's kind of that way, you know, your mind just goes completely blank before, I mean, as you're riding and, and kind of your instincts almost just kind of kick in. True? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, you just hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could really tell someone, you know, that has a road is just hold on. I mean, of course you want to try and have good form. You want to try and do everything they tell you. But when you get on there and you're in the moment, yeah, your big instincts kick in. You're just trying to hold on. <laughs> true, true. So, now, and afterwards, I mean, did your bull turn around come back, or was he a pretty decent bull? He was a good bull. I mean, he was probably perfect for anyone that hasn't, you, you know, for a beginner. I mean, these mm -hmm. are real bulls. I mean, it's not like what people would think, you know, like, oh, they're steers or they're sure. little bulls. No, these are real actual bulls, you know, that the guys ride. But he, they're all real nice bulls, you know. They're they're going to buck, of course, mm -hmm. but, you know, they're not going to turn back in your hand and do anything crazy. I had I had a good bull. I mean, it literally just bucked hard across the arena, so awesome. I was pretty lucky. Well, and that's the nice thing about working with checks, too, is that they know their bulls, and they're very... Yep very into how their bulls buck and how they flank and that type of thing so that yeah, helps out Kurt, quite a bit yeah for sure Kurt Ham picked every single one of the girls bulls so that's good so now did you guys just get you know did you guys have the regular draw you know beforehand to find out who you got no we picked our partners so oh, okay yeah we got to to pick there's 25 actual bull riders and then I think 11 of us so we had plenty to pick from that's a plus that's a plus yeah well cool so now they also had the full bull riding going on during that time do you, were you guys behind the shoots and kind of able to listen to what was going on behind the shoots during their bull the guys's bull riding yeah yep we did i mean they went first mm -hmm. so that was helpful i mean to kind of you know, you, you want to leave them alone because they got to concentrate and everything. But sure. it was good to see, you know, what goes on behind the shoots, like how they get ready, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Definitely. Well, and I'm sure since they helped out quite a bit also trying to get you guys down. So did you have to borrow chaps and a vest or did you have your yep. own chaps and vest made? Nope. We, we borrowed, everyone borrowed minus a few girls had some. Okay. But everyone else borrowed their partners. Know their their full gear, their their shafts, their helmet, and their vest. So cool. Well, that works. So now, was there? I saw a couple of the pictures, and I saw quite a few boots out there. Did you have a particular brand that you that you wore for your boots? So you didn't, you know, I know you got to wear spurs and everything, and some people don't like to mess up their boots. Yeah, actually, all the girls we wore the guys' boots because it was too hard to take off the spurs. <laughs> So, you know, it looked kind of funny. They're huge. You know, they're four, five, six sizes too big, but it worked. That works. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. So what, what are, are you, so you're planning on doing this possibly next year? Or? Yeah, this March. Oh, so cool. most definitely I'm going to do it again. Cool. So if you had any advice to give anybody that was looking at doing this or wanted to help promote this a little bit, what advice would you give them to, to kind of get involved in this? 
you know, I would just say do it. I mean, it's fun. It, it's a good experience for me and maybe a lot of other people. It's kind of like that bucket list thing, mm-hmm. something that, you know, you could say how many people do you know that rode a bull, especially as a female, not very many. And it's just fun. It, you know, Kurt, they're super helpful, and it's, it's fun. I would just do it. You can look up the Cowboys Arena on Facebook. That's probably the easiest way to get information. Um, Mike Mark updates that weekly. Okay. So. Cool. Well, that sounds good. Well, I thank you very much for being with me here on Gotta Be Country Radio. I appreciate your time and, and being able to sit down with us here to, to kind of talk a little bit about the Bikini Bull Bash. Um, keep it tuned yeah. in. Keep it tuned in right here to Shark Radio Network. Thanks for watching. Want more? Listen in to the Gotta Be Country Radio Show with me, Britt, on your smartphones in the TuneIn Radio app under Shark Radio Network. Or watch and listen on sharkradionetwork.com. Wednesday nights at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, and 7 on the West Coast. And don't forget to invite your friends to like us here on Facebook, too.